Understanding slang. That's whack. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a phrase you might have heard in movies, songs, or even in casual conversation. That's whack. It's a piece of slang that's quite popular in English-speaking countries, especially among younger people. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it properly in a sentence. So, let's get started. That's whack, is a phrase used to express that something is unfair, ridiculous, or just not right in some way. It's important to note that it's a very informal expression and is often associated with urban or hip-hop culture. The word, whack, can be traced back to the 1960s but gained significant popularity in the 1990s. The term, whack, originally comes from the idea of something being hit or struck, which is sometimes how people feel when they encounter something absurd or unjust, as if they've been metaphorically hit. Over time, it has evolved to become a term expressing disapproval or disbelief. Let's look at some examples to see how, that's whack, is used in everyday language. They canceled the show because of a little rain? That's whack. He got a promotion after just a month at the company? That's whack. This pizza costs $30? That's whack. Notice how in each case, the phrase is used to respond to something that the speaker finds unreasonable or unjust. It's crucial to understand the context in which you can use this phrase. Since it's slang, it's not appropriate for formal situations. Use it among friends or in casual settings, but avoid it in job interviews, academic papers, or when speaking with someone you wish to show a high level of respect to. The phrase is deeply rooted in American hip-hop culture and has been popularized through music, television, and films. Understanding such phrases also gives insight into the nuances of English as it's used in different cultural contexts. And that wraps up our look at the phrase, that's whack. We hope this video has been informative and has added a new expression to your English vocabulary. Remember, Language is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about culture and expression. Stay tuned for more interesting phrases in future videos, and don't forget to practice using them in context. Happy learning, and see you next time!